Yeah. All right. Please state your name for the folks at home. Tim. Tim. Tim, what do you do for a living, Tim? Uh, I'm a director. Director? <laughs> Which show do you direct, Tim? A TV show? Movies? TV show. TV show? What, what TV show do you direct? Uh, Late Late Show. Late Late Show, yeah. <laughs> this, this show? This show. Mm. How long have you been directing this show, Tim? Uh, today's my first, first day. First day, is it, Tim? <laughs> Everything's gonna be great. <laughs> Now, you're probably wondering, hey, it's my first day, there's never been a dude over there. <laughs> there's a dude over there right now, Tim. Now, how would you be able to direct me walking up and down and... What's your name, son? Steve. Steve, how are you going to get Steve and me in using just one camera, Tim? How is that going to work? Would you use more than one camera? I might. <laughs> Am I, yeah, yes? Yeah, yeah, you would. I, well, how would you, do you have another? How would you do it? Uh, why don't you tell your folks in the booth uh, which camera you want to use to do it? Show us how it's done, huh? Well, I'm, I'm thinking that two has a shot. Three? 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 Take three? Take three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, then come, one, one. and then come back to us. Yeah, yeah back to us. Mm -hmm. well, we, we're on one, right? We're on one. So we go one and then three. Ready, three? Yeah. And then one. Right, one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Who's doing it now, Tim, if you're here? Uh, Jen. Oh, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you ever worked here before you were a director, Tim? Yes. What did you do then? I was the assistant director. Assistant director? Yes. How long were you the assistant director? Uh, 17 years. 17 years. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll come up there. <laughs> So this would not be a night to uh, like get up then, Tim. <laughs> uh, no. Or, given it's your first night, this might be the best night to do that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm, I want to send Steve back to sit with his parents. Now, how am I going to do that? How are you going to cover that? He's got to walk right past us and go right over there. How are we going to do that? We'll go to three. Go to three? Right, three, three? Uh, three. Wide now, Mark? Yeah, right. Wide now? Three. Wide now? All right, and then you stay, you go across that way. Yeah. 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 Ready, one. You one. Did, you did great, son. You did great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Man. You go over there. Yeah. 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 All right. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Kia Motors and the Sorrento Crossover. Learn more at Kia.com.
gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. think you actually mean it. You have earned your chicken. <laughs> earned your chicken? That sounded dirty. There goes my penis. Yeah! We're seeing our catchphrases. My catchphrase is, that sounded dirty. <laughs> Jeff's catchphrase is, there goes my penis. You see? And I have another one. It is, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, we do. It is, but not a great day for Madonna. Over the weekend, this is true, she had a um, wardrobe malfunction. It was quite a bad one. It was during a concert in Istanbul in, in Turkey, and the whole audience saw her um, magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad news for Snooki as well over the weekend. Nude photos of her leaked onto the internet. And Snooky says the pictures were taken when she was too stupid to know, uh, to know better. So I'm thinking, any time in the last 24 hours. Really. <laughs> and, see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, uh, this is true. A 91-year-old man uh, from Britain is training to be the world's oldest triathlete. 91? The doctors have uh, cleared them to compete, but I'm thinking, is this really a good idea, Madonna? After the... Uh... <laughs> hey! It's a great day if you like the Apple computers, because today in San Francisco was their annual uh, developers' conference. Now, th there's now around 650,000 apps available online, and that number will continue to grow as long as people will pay a few bucks to enjoy them. This is also true of Kardashians. <laughs> Although they're hairier. <laughs> Greg, that's me. There's another thing Apple announced today, their giant Apple touchscreen TV. That would be great for fans of this show. Then you could just reach out and adjust the dial. <laughs> <laughs> you could uh, play with the knob. <laughs> Are you looking it up to see if it's. Uh, yeah, go on, look it up. Anyway, Apple's also expanding the amount of data that you, uh, store, you, know, you can use in your iCloud, which is great because my iCloud's getting too full. I was worried it was going to start raining. <laughs> raining. Raining whatever's in it. Pornography. Raining pornography. It, it would be raining man. It'll be raining man. With a light drizzle of ladyboys. Do, you know do you know who wrote the song, It's Raining Man? No, who? Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer? Paul Schaefer of the Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. Paul Schaefer wrote the song, It's Raining Man. Did you know that? <laughs> Don't woo. It's not that great a song. <laughs> but he wrote it. That's shocking. Just shocking. I think it's shocking so much as one of those things where you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so if I sang the song, It's Raining Men, Paul Schaefer would have to sue me for the money. But Paul Schaefer works for Worldwide Pants, and this show is produced by Worldwide Pants, so therefore he'd have to sue himself. <laughs> or he'd have to sue Dave, his boss. <laughs> I think we just found a free song there, Jeff. <laughs> Anyway, what, uh, oh, the, oh, yeah, the iCloud thing. Uh, last, uh, oh, yeah, no, I used the iCloud last week because I got my colonoscopy. I, I uploaded the pictures. I did, yeah, I got I did. I, I, my long-awaited colonoscopy, I was putting it off and putting it off, but, I, you know, I was going to upload the full video of it, but I decided to hold off because I want Morgan Freeman to narrate it. 
Because everything's better when you get Morgan Freeman narrates it. It gives a classier feel. It classes things up. <laughs> Even a colonoscopy of Morgan Freeman, wouldn't that be, wouldn't you? What do you think, Jeff? Get busy lubing or get busy crying. So you see? No, I really did. I was, I was nervous, you know, because it's, it's a thing, you know. And I was on the way there and I was trying to take my mind off it. It didn't help. The sidewalk was under construction, so I had to enter through the back door. And I was like, get out of your mind, get out of your mind. And then I was in the waiting room and the newspaper headline was something about Fanny Mae. And I'm like, get out of your mind, get out of your mind. And the movie playing on the TV was Rear Window. And I was like, get out of your mind. And then during the procedure, the doctor's great, Dr. Strom, if you ever need, you know, anything checked out. And anyway, I, uh, you know, because, and <laughs> I said to him, is there anything abnormal? He said, well, you smiling during the procedure is a little abnormal. <laughs> but with the new technology, the patient sees what the doctor sees. Have you ever looked at your colon in, the mo in, a, in a television monitor? <laughs> well, you know, the other thing I was thinking as I was, they were looking at my colon, I'm thinking, my colon is better lit than my show. <laughs> it really was. I was like, wow. If we could do... If we could do this show from my ass every night... <laughs> we'd be a shoe in for a technical Emmy. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. It's like a fleshy New York City subway tunnel in there. But with, you know, fewer hobos living in it. I mean, in the subway tunnel. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you, you know, the doctor, my doctor knows what I do for a living, so he said, you see a lot of uh, orifices in your job too, don't you? I said, yeah, but you have it easier, doc, because the ones you see, they don't talk back. <laughs> he said, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I said, yeah, but they don't tell you about the latest movie. He said, you'd be surprised. <laughs> But I also got the, uh, the, not just the colonoscopy, I got the endoscope. That's the, the up the, you know, the ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I didn't ask what end they did first. <laughs> anyway, I got this one. I got, but, so they put you out. They, they put you completely out. They, I mean, you know, so I, the, the drugs are sensational. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like talking to the anesthesiologist and then boom, I wake up, I'm in the recovery room and my wife came in and I'm not kidding, I remember saying this as well. But she walked in and, and I saw her and I went, hey. <laughs> and I said this, I said, it's the summer of love, baby. <laughs> I really said that. And she said, oh, really? I went, yeah, it is. <laughs> and the doctor was there and he was going to discuss the results and he's like, uh, uh, I'll, I'll come back in a minute. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, hey, just stay, hang out. We're just, we're just hanging. <laughs> See, I used to take a lot of drugs back in the day. If they were like, drugs were like that back then, I'd still be on them. <laughs> no, no, this is terrible. Uh, the, have you ever had the, uh, well, no need, I suppose, with the... Yeah, just, uh, just before I came out here, as a matter of fact. <laughs> What, what just before you came out here? Yeah, that thing you did with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had one of them? Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Well, what, what, are, what are those? Yeah, I'll have to tell you after the break. <laughs> have you, uh, you probably have. Have you ever seen your colon in a television monitor? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought oh, you yeah, have, yeah. yeah. No, I had a whole show about it. <laughs> What was it called? No, it was, just, it was a TV series. It was a whole series. What was it called? I can't say. <laughs> then how did it get on TV? <laughs> I can't say any more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know who wrote his Raining Man? Uh, Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer, yeah. You went to the thing? Sure, what? All right. During the break, enjoy a low-fiber snack, clear liquids, and evacuate all unnecessary solid matter. And we'll be back.
afternoon, welcome back to the big show, where tonight we've already had the spectacular movement of Steve, who moved from there to over there. <laughs> so, I tell you, I tell you what I did today. I, I tell you what I did today earlier on, Jeff. I went to have a look. Construction has begun on our new studio, which we're moving into after the summer break, which we don't get, of course. <laughs> But after summer, in September, we're moving into a new studio, and I went to look at it. And? Pretty crappy. <laughs> Which actually, in a way, was kind of a relief, I've got to be honest. As I looked at it, and I saw all the messy construction site, and the crap, and the leaks in the roof, I thought, this is going to work out just fine. <laughs> know what I mean? Just like being home. Just like being home, except bigger. It's, it's still a crappy uh, studio, but it's a bigger crappy studio. So, and more is better, right? Coming this fall, bigger crap. Bigger crap. <laughs> if you want to keep your colon healthy, Jeff. Bigger crap. Bigger crap. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, emails and the, the tweeties. What do we do? We, you want to play one? Tim's the new director. He's, you know, do we, do we, want, uh, do we want to play one in or do we want to do one ourselves? Yeah, maybe, maybe we, uh, we do our own. All right, maybe we'll do our one. And maybe see if Tim can mix between the two cameras. And... Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's see if we can try that. No one's ever tried that. Oh, no. yeah, all right. Let's see if we can do it. Let's try doing it then. All right. All right. Tweety and email time. Email and Tweety time. Tweety. <laughs> the show is almost unrecognizable, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, this is from uh, Michael in Melbourne, Australia. Ever been to Melbourne? Oh Australia? yeah, I love it. Oh, love it down under. Yeah, but have you ever been to Australia? Yeah. <laughs> I set him up, you knock him down. That's right. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my sister is about to turn 21. What should I get her for her birthday? What's, what's traditional for a 21-year-old girl in Australia? Jeff? Well, give her a nice, uh, nice walkabout. <laughs> yeah, give her a nice Aboriginal walkabout. Get her, tell her, go out there and uh, survive in the bush, and when you come back, you'll be a man. <laughs> Think of it as an outdoor bar mitzvah sort of thing. <laughs> this is from uh, Marcus in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You ever been to Albuquerque? Oh, God, I love it there. Oh, yeah. You love it where? Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Craig and GP, uh, do you ever think there may be an alternate world out there? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Jeff? Yeah, it's called Glendale. <laughs> ah, that robot makes me laugh, I tell you. This is from Kelly in Allen, Texas. You ever been to Texas? I don't think so. You've never been to Texas? I mean, maybe once. What do you mean, maybe? I mean, Texas is bigger than France. You would know if you'd been there. I was cracked out of my mind. All right. <laughs> Hi, uh, Craig GP. And, oh, this is going to be tricky for Tim. Because he's a new director, but it, it says, Hi, Craig, GP, and... Secretary, I was out of the door! Wait, wait, wait. I don't have got... You know what we should do? Jeff. Yeah. Do you know what? This is what we should do. Tim's a new director. We should test him with slow secretary. Oh, no. That's the hardest secretary of all. They say that this is... They call this move the director's graveyard. <laughs> Only two have ever been to do... Uh, properly execute the slow secretary. Those two directors were Alfred Hitchcock and Martin Scorsese. <laughs> now, I know what you're saying, Craig. Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. <laughs> I said it wrong. <laughs> Let's see if we encourage the, uh, the old fella out. All right. And also get the horse to come out slowly.
That was pretty well directed there. You like that? Yeah, that was really yeah. good. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fantastic actor. He's in a new movie, Moonrise Kingdom. Take a look at this. I can't offer you a legally binding union. It won't hold up in the state, the county, or frankly any courtroom in the world due to your age, lack of a license, and failure to get parental consent. But the ritual does carry a very important moral weight within yourselves. You can't enter into this lightly. Look into my eyes. Do you love each other? Yes, we do. But, but think about what I'm saying. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, we are. Okay, they're not listening to me. Let me rephrase it. Oh, we're in a hurry. Are you chewing? Spit out the gum, sister. In fact, everybody. I don't like the snappy attitude. This is the most important decision you've made in your lives. Now go over by that trampoline and talk it through before you give me another quick answer. Please welcome the lovely and adorable Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Schwartzman. Hi. Hi. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's right. How are you, pal? I'm great. How are you? You know, I'm all right. You look great. I love your hair. I, I, Likewise. I think, well, thank you. And I love your suit looks great. You look just great. Likewise. I like your suit. I wish I had a three-piece suit. It's so nice. <laughs> well, don't you? You must have a little money now. You've been to a couple of movies. Yeah, you could get one. Are they much more expensive? No, really. It's just the extra material for this. You know... It's not yeah. very much. I love it. I love it. I want to get one of those. Yeah, it's yeah, you can, you can have this one, but it'll be too big. Do you own the suits that you wear on the show? Do I you? own everything you see here. Wow. This is my furniture. That is my cup. These Great. are my cameras. That is my gay robot skeleton. Everything oh. is mine. I didn't... Oh, that's great. Oh, yes. Lucky. Did you bring all this stuff with you, or was it... From Scotland. When I originally... this... When I came over, they said... When I came in from Scotland, they said, what are you doing here? I said, hopefully a late-night show. Uh... <laughs> well, it is good to see you, and uh, I'm, I heard about your... New director? Well... <laughs> for, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're oh, new yeah, director. Oh, you're new director. Oh, you're yeah. new director. Did, did, have you ever had one? Well, no, but I want to... I wanna... You want to get one, well, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to know about it because, you know, I will have to get one at some Eventually, point. Eventually, yeah, yeah. Um, what... Can I just ask you a couple questions? Sure. When you were speaking about it earlier, you were awake, watching... While I was talking? No, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, you were yeah. awake while you were... But you were watching your colon, and then they, then they knock you out? Actually, they... I kind of... That's not really true. What okay. really happened was that I was, I was in there... And they, um, you know, I was talking to them. Then they put me out, and then they showed me a movie of my colon later. No. Yes. They show it to you. Yeah, it was very well edited. No. <laughs> wow. And what is it like to see well, that? Well, you know, I have to say, did you ever see a movie called Fantastic Voyage with Raquel Welsh? Yes, Wells? of course. Uh, where everybody shrinks to yes. really small, and they go inside somewhere. It's just like that. Wow. Yeah, wow. So, except that Raquel Welsh, unfortunately, was not hiding anywhere in... Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but otherwise, uh, is spectacular. And I have to say, and I know you're not big on drugs, but... <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> but the, uh, the, the drugs... Really? Well, you see, what happens is... An uh, anesthesiologist to someone who is someone who is a doctor. Sure. You know, I, I... Sure. You're saying they're not doctors? Not really. Dude, are you mad? No, I know. I guess they are, technically. But keep going. <laughs> they're sort of like, whatever. <laughs> Are you saying that, I like... do all my own anis <laughs> an an anesthetizing before I come in. I just say I'll do that. I'd like to do... I have my own ritual before I come in. Well, all I'm saying is that the anesthesiologist, this is someone who studied for years and years and years to give the correct yes. amount of drugs at the right time. Yes. Now, I'm not used to that. <laughs> Anytime I've taken drugs before, it was, I was getting them from someone who probably didn't finish <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, so the, so the dosages were probably wrong. It's not that I am an alcoholic and an addict. I just got the wrong dose. At the wrong time. At the wrong time. You're not doing this correctly. This person is trained to sit there. They watch. They're watching the clock. They've taken all of your vital signs. Right. And they know what they're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I said. But you don't care about that. I don't care about it. Well, well, I don't care about it. No, I care about it. You I was will. trying to convince myself. No, I, would, I care about it. And there have been times when I've had to be knocked out for, you know. For very, a movie? 
for, for a movie, yeah. a TV show, a play, uh, all different kinds of reasons to be put under. And it is amazing <laughs> how uh, when you are, you, you know, you are in some way thinking, I'm going to just, I'm going to try to fight this. I'm going to see how hard, you yeah, know, how, you if can. I can stay awake. And it's truly amazing yeah. how you just fall asleep. Instantly. Uh, just like that, yeah. And when I came back, I was like, it was like I traveled through time into the future. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you said summer love. I did say summer, summer love. Summer love, baby. Yeah, I, I felt very groovy. You felt groovy. I felt really groovy. You felt yeah. warm. I, and that's how powerful these drugs are, are because I, look at me, yes. felt groovy. That's... <laughs> You, I mean, you are groovy. Look at you, you, you. I mean, you're like like hipsters are trying to be like you. This is not right. That's yeah, not right. No, no. you are groovy. You're one of those. You're one of those born groovy people. I'm not born groovy. No, no, you are. I'm I not born groovy, cool. and I'm not groovy now. I'm not any of those things. I am not a groovy man. See, that's how groovy you are. You're like no. you don't even know you're groovy. You're like I, I'm not groovy. Yes. Well, we all everyone here. This is actually an intervention. We think I, you're a little too groovy. Screw you! <laughs> Screw you! No. I'm not groovy! All right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair but enough. I want to know everything. I mean, we'll, we can talk more about colons later. Okay. But I guess I'm just fascinated by the human body and Me too, about yeah. being prodded. I think it's amazing. Well, it's, you know, I, well, I thought it'd be great, though, if they invent... You know how they've got all the apps, right? Yes. So do you have a, a, a product that has apps? Yes, I do. Okay, right, yes. good. So I said that right, didn't I? Yes, he did. Yeah. So... Don't you think it'd be good if they could get an app that would just, like, you, you touch it with a part of your body and it would take your vital signs? Oh, my God, I would love that. You know, so it would just say... Or, it would, like, there was a chip somewhere in your body. Yes. It would just send a message, an email to your doctor. There saying, will be. Blood, blood pressure's a little off, so go and see your doctor. Something like that. I think that that is... I guarantee you that will probably happen yeah, at some point. I think that would be great. I heard there's some new app that, uh, that is, like, a sleep app that suggests that you can choose what kind of dream you would like to have... You enter what time you will be waking up, and then you turn it, you, like it's, it's an alarm, you set it face down, and something happens with the light, and, and your body, it registers your body movements, and while you're sleeping, it starts to emanate light and sound, and it's to suggest a certain type of dream you might See, have. See, like, now, even just knowing that makes you groovy. So right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not See, true. I, I led that's not you, true. I led you in. Stop it, that's not true. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that is but true. It, but you have to send in the results, I guess, to the company, because it's an experiment. It's like an right. app experiment. That's a whole other frightening idea, to hide experiments Dressed up in as apps. apps. Yeah, that's, that doesn't seem right. Right, that's not right. No, no, no. Also, I miss the old days when phones were, were, were kind of like this. You know, I mean, there's no apps on that, buddy. That's there the, you are. That's a phone. That's the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you are. The old days. Yeah, that's the old days. Remember them? You probably don't, do you? And I don't either for different reasans. You know, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The an- uh, I went to the, yeah, the anesthesiologist party in the 80s. Yeah. That yeah. was insane, those... But you Florida. See, that's that's just, a phone used to be. A, look at there's actually yeah. a date on. This is like antiques roadshow. Actually, look, there's a date <laughs> on here. Jason, the phone you brought in is actually a fake. But the uh, oh no, it's not. It's real. But look, oh. 1901. That's amazing. It's written on there. This is a phone from 1901. Or maybe that's just the address of where the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, 190. Yep. 1901 March Street. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I know, and I honestly, I, I wish that I could have, like, I want an old, I want my, fa- like, you know, we have children now. Yes, yes, um, well, no, well, you together already, as a couple. Yeah, we have- yeah I, I would like to just clarify, but we have children, and uh, you have two, I have one. Yes. But, you know, this whole idea of phones and music and what's it going to be like, you're a music lover. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this is a really, probably a really boring cover. This is not why you came here tonight, but let's just talk about it. Um, well, but... I can always throw it a commercial and you can keep going. Okay, there. okay, you throw it a commercial. All right, we'll go to commercial and you'll finish this up and we'll go on with something more interesting in a minute. We'll be right back. Right, right. Oh.
go to buy a book. Like, that was an actually a thing. Yeah. So, you know, it actually was quite interesting. <laughs> We were talking about the, the purchasing of music or um, or books yeah. or movies. Like, you would go somewhere and, and do yeah. it. Like, you would go to a store and say, I'd like the new pop record. Yeah. <laughs> pulp? You say pulp? P p or pulp. Yeah, yeah pulp. Yeah. yeah, see, you're groovy even when I'm... I can't help myself. You just grooved that's, right there. It's like a gro groove check app. Yeah. It's like makes whatever... Yeah. You, no, no, no. But I was just... Yeah, but like, when you have a kid... Like, now the kids, like, when you download something... What is, like, music going to be? Like, uh, you buy a record, you put it on, even though music is something else, still there's, like, this object, and you're like, no. it's music, but now it's... And also, a lot of music now that I listen to, I don't listen to it out loud, I've got headphones on. Yeah. A lot of people listen to music now, they just... I know. It's a, it's a, it's a solo pleasure, opposed to be something that you used to enjoy in the company of other people, much like many other things in my life. E.T., yeah. <laughs> e. little E.T. Yeah, hey, don't... <laughs> See, why did a you little, have... You didn't have... A little phone home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want a phone home with that, now, do you? <laughs> no. All that... right, buddy, we're out of time. So what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or uh, do you want to go for the big cash price? Cash. <laughs> what time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash price. Cash price, 50 American dollars. In quarters, in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Now... There are three, count them, three ways to win. You can either answer a question, available here on these question cards. Yeah. You can guess what's in my box. I imagine a box in my head, I don't know what's in it. You guess what's in it. If you're right, <laughs> Jeff will tell us. Or, the third option, you can guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking. <laughs> here's, here's how that works. We've imagined a scenario where Her Majesty the Queen is in jail. Yeah. And... During her jail uh, term, yeah. she's thinking some things. If you can guess what she's thinking during her jail term, yeah. you'll win $50. What do you want to go for? Can I try to go for all three? <laughs> yeah, right, but, uh, okay. Well, I mean, all why right. not? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. It's Los Angeles. We do that here. Don't applaud. You'll make them feel uncomfortable. Come on. Come on. Shut up. I don't like it. Shut up. Come all right. On, shut it, First, shut we'll do the question. Down. You ready? <laughs> all right. right. I'm going to get all of them wrong, but I just... No, let's like, see. Let's whatever. See. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yeah. Right? According to polls, what... True. No, wait. According to oh. polls, what percentage of marriage proposals are made over the telephone? What percentage of marriage proposals are made over the telephone? Is it B, 6%? Yes. Yes, B, 6%. You're on your way. You're on your way. Only two more questions. All right. I was confused. <laughs> I, I didn't know. It was either the, it was that or the other one. It was B or something else. Yeah. All right. Now, so you're nearly there. Only two more questions to go. All right. You ready? Yeah. Guess what? what's in my box. <laughs> my name. Jeff. We would also accept it 1901 March Street, but it is Jason. Your name. All right. You're close. One more question. You walk out of here. $50. All right. Now, is the answer to what's... Is it in here? No, it's like, in here. But, okay, but, but is it... Ultimately, can we destroy that at some point in time and find out what's really in that box? No, it's not a box. That's a jail. That's a jail. <laughs> yeah, but... But it's not a real jail because, of course, no one would ever imprison okay. Her Majesty the Queen unless it was some kind of weird revolution, but that's not going to be I that. just want to so, break uh, it. At some point, I want to break that thing. But you, 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 can't, uh, you can't break a picture of Her Majesty the Queen. That'd be wrong. No, no, no. We need to take her out of it. Oh, you mean like spring Her Majesty we free from, her jail? from jail? We pulled the jail. <laughs> All right, let's go. All I'm right, ready. yeah. Man, you just, you groovy. The, I don't want uh, to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, All right. I thought you wanted it. No, I did. Yeah. You look like you want some groove in you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. You ready? Uh, yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> You're thinking. I want more bread. <laughs> that is the correct answer. You win $50. $50. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
On you go. Okay. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, that's uh, great. You're doing great. Yeah, Keep going. Yeah, okay. Our next guest is a very funny comedian who'll be performing at the Laughing Skull Lounge. Laughing Skull? <laughs> I get it, yeah. <laughs> In uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. June 14th through the 17th. Please welcome Rory Scovel, ladies Rory and gentlemen. Scovel. Rory Scovel! Thank you very much. I uh, got the blazer on tonight. Last time I was on TV, my sister said that I didn't dress up enough. Uh, to be fair, I was getting arrested. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we are. We're into it now. Here we go. We're into it. I was recently uh, approached on the street by a homeless gentleman. He was asking me for some spare change. So I gave him all the spare change in my pocket. He took all the pennies and he threw them on the ground. I was like, what do you do with those pennies, pal? He's like, they're pennies. They're useless. <laughs> Maybe someone will come along, pick them up, have good luck. <laughs> yeah, that person is you, pal. <laughs> pick up those pennies now. Pick them up now. Now people are walking by who didn't even see the first half of the conversation. I'm just yelling at a homeless guy. <laughs> pick up these pennies now. They assume, like, oh, he did ask for change. I was like, what's that? You need some spare change? Okay. How about seven pennies? There they are. No free rides. I'm a big fan of uh, Batman. I love all the recent uh, Batman movies, The Dark Knight being my favorite. Um, it's actually when I realized that Batman is kind of a jerk, though. Like, Commissioner Gordon is his friend. It's his ally. And yet still, he, he doesn't say goodbye when he leaves him. He ropes him into a conversation and then just disappears. It's always something like, what do you think about this Harvey Dent guy? Well, I got to tell you what, Batman. I looked at the uh, files, and I think that... <laughs> Batman? Batman, you around the corner? Why do you do this? I'm an adult. Just say goodbye to me. We're friends. <laughs> You know what it looks like when people see me talking to myself? Just yelling at... Oh, hey, Sarah. Hey, how are you? Just talking to Batman a second ago. He, he took... Yeah, I'm, no, we're friends. I'm friends with him. Yeah, yes, I am. How do you know? Go fax something. No one tells me who I'm friends with. You want to make it here at Crime Studies, you're going to... Sarah? Sarah... I am uh, currently engaged right now. I say currently, because after this is on TV, that might be the end of it all. <laughs> Recently had an argument. Um, I found out that some couples get married on a Friday. I asked her about it. She said, oh, it's cheaper. I know a lot of people do get married on a Saturday, but she said, yeah, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to do it on a Friday. She got upset with me when I suggested that we do it on a Monday morning. <laughs> it seems to me like you get paid to do it on Monday morning. Your friends are like, hey, when's your wedding? It's like, it's actually on Monday morning right before you go to work, so just wear whatever you're going to wear to work. There's obviously no reception. You're going to have people drunk at work. I didn't even know about uh, non-alcoholic receptions. You actually don't ever know about it. You have to actually find out the hard way that those exist. You get to the reception, hi, I'd like a beer. Actually, we only have sweet tea and water. What? What was that? Your brain can't even process the information. What? You know how weird that is to instantly going from someone who wishes the newlyweds well to someone who hopes they get a divorce immediately? I hope you have diarrhea the entire honeymoon. I do live with my fiance, um, which is great. If anyone's thinking about getting married or you, you're, you're thinking about proposing, live together first. I highly recommend that. Um, I know some people are against it. A lot of religious people are like, well, if you live together before you're married, you're going to go to hell. And that's exactly what marriage can become uh, when you don't know each other that well. So it's kind of when do you want your hell? Do you want it now? Do you want it later? Take it later. Take it later. I keep thinking about the... Uh, the bachelor party, I don't know what we'll do. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Amsterdam, they have legalized prostitution. I'm not saying that's what we're going to do. That's just a, just a bad segue. That's all that is. 
I haven't slept with a prostitute. Uh, I probably have the same reservations every man in this room has when it comes to sleeping with a prostitute, you know. What if I fall in love? <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Oh, my. <laughs> well, we, we learned a lot tonight, but what we didn't learn is actually, Steve, who was on at the start of the show, it's his 21st birthday. Isn't that... <laughs> hey, I'm 50. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing, Steve. Uh, all of us got together, the ladies, Jeff, the horse, both ends, and me. We got together and, and we're going to send you and your parents to the great showbiz restaurant, The Ivy in Los Angeles, where you can eat for free. Happy birthday, Steve. Good night, everybody.